Hey y'all, Michelle Davenport here with Simple Living. Boy, do I have a recipe to share with you. Um, I figured out how to make meatloaf and I veganized it. It's my mother's recipe, but it's vegan. So it's going to be delicious. If it's something you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll meet you in the kitchen. Now, you know what I always say, go out there and be willing to be an answer to somebody else's prayer today. It will change your life. All right, see you in the kitchen. Okay, y'all, we're gonna make this uh, meatloaf, this vegan meatloaf, and it is gonna be delicious. I am using Meatless Farms, and I absolutely like this mince um, faux meat. I get it at Whole Foods. So you're gonna add the whole package of that in, okay? It's just freaky how much it looks like ground beef. It's just weird. And then I use one, now I have perfected this, so I use one Italian sausage from Beyond Meat. I put that in there as well. And then I mix this all together. Just spread this out, you know, so it gets evenly distributed throughout, not just big chunks everywhere. This just could not be easier. If you've turned vegan, I want to try just a, a vegan meal, this would be one to try. Okay, gosh, it smells so good without doing anything to it. about a fourth of an onion, how much ever you want. And you're gonna grade that as to not to have big old chunks of onion in your, well, I may end up with a few chunks, but that's all right. Grate it, oh Lord, <laughs> see all that onion? Okay, well, slippery. <laughs> Hold on to it. Okay. You're just gonna grate up some onion, which I'm gonna need more than that because that's just nothing. I, I like to taste the onion flavor. Plus, this helps um, keep your meatloaf from drying out as well when you do it like this because the juice of the onion keeps it moist. So, the whole recipe be in the description box, but I'm using basically about a half onion. Now you're gonna add a little mustard. This is just old fashioned, nothing fancy. A little mustard, probably about a tablespoon. A little ketchup, probably about three tablespoons. Then a little vegan Worcestershire, probably one tablespoon. Then I'm gonna add some, I, this is my addition to my mom's recipe. 21 seasoning salute, which I get from Trader Joe's. We'll just go ahead and empty that out in there. A little garlic powder, probably, I don't know, half a teaspoon. And then I use these Italian breadcrumbs. Love them. So that even adds more flavoring. And then you can mix it all up with your hands and then see where you are. See how, you know, the, the feel of your meatloaf is. I just washed my hands before I started the video and I've rinsed them several times, so I got clean hands. What does the Bible say? Clean hands, pure heart. All right, so 
So I'm just going to mix this in best I can with my hands. I'm going to add a little bit more. One thing about it, if you just mix with one hand, keep the other hand dry, you can add in stuff without having to wash your hands again. Okay, that's more like it. No eggs. Don't really need them in this. I know in the traditional way you, I think you put an egg in, if I remember correctly. And I got a couple of big chunks of onions in here. You know what? I'm going to leave them for a little surprise, whoever bites into it. All right. I'm going to get a little salt and pepper. Are the best salt and pepper shakers. They run off batteries, and oh my gosh, y'all. Love it. Okay. Just gonna get a spoon since I just washed my hands and just dab that in there. Then you want to grease your loaf pan with something. I'm gonna use. in a spray bottle, spray can, and you're going to put this in here. This just helps clean up. If you don't have it, just use whatever you have, but any kind of oil to keep it from sticking. I feel like this is going to be delicious. All right, so now I'm just going to put it in my loaf pan. Which, all right, put this in the loaf pan. And then you're gonna bake it at 350 for about an hour. Serve it alongside some mashed potatoes or some oven baked potatoes or just a plain baked potato. Some grilled asparagus with lemon and pepper seasonings. And my gosh, and you can have a meatloaf sandwich. Now, after you do that, you want to put some ketchup. Just the same things you put in there. Ketchup, except for I added a little brown sugar and that was my mom's little secret recipe. So it's some ketchup, probably about three tablespoons, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a little bit of mustard, and some Worcestershire. And then you're gonna stir that all together and you're gonna use that as a glaze to your meatloaf. Now, I will tell you another addition that me and my husband love is I set the timer for about 55 minutes and the last five minutes I'll show you what I put on there that brings it to a whole nother level. Simple meatloaf for Simple Living Channel. We top it with these crispy onions, garlic, and pepper flavored. In the last five minutes, they crisp up. We put them all over the top, stick it back in, and cook it for five more minutes, and voila, you have beautiful meatloaf. So there you have it, my mama's recipe, just tweaked a little. <laughs> All right, I'll show you when it comes out of the oven what it looks like.